have our very very first tier list now the thing i like about this whole tier list movement and whatever you call it is is it allows you to be creative and express your opinion and spark a conversation about things that some people agree upon some people don't and i love having conversations or debates whatever you want to consider it so the first tier list we have is one that is very controversial not in a negative way but just once again it's a very opinionated topic and that's rappers I was born in 1995, so I think the 90s, the early 2000s were the best years for rap um, because they got some influence from older school rap, but it didn't really make it to this new rap, which obviously every rap has its own place, depending on what area you grew up in, and I respect it, but that doesn't mean I have to like it all. <laughs> That's the beautiful thing about you know music is you can like what you want to like. It's a lot of things, so don't want to talk too much. We want to get right into the list. Let's get started. You know, no need to wait. Now... My opinion is going to be biased based on the music that I like. The things I'm looking for are lyrical capability, flow, um, ability to basically just be ver be versatile. So a lot of rappers that I listen to, they can get you in your feelings. They can make you vibe. They can get you turned up. Or it's just that song that you can hear 10 years down the road, 20 years down the road and say, dang, I remember that song and just get hyped. So on that note, the first person that I'm putting up there is my favorite rapper of all time will always be some people can debate it he doesn't think that he's one of the top five rappers of all time but i think that he is and he's definitely humble and that's going to be ti tip clifford harris the man the creator of trap music i that this was like this was my first favorite rapper of all time i'm not going to talk deep about every single rapper but i have to say something about him amazing rapper amazing capability amazing flow then he took what he did in the rap industry and he took it and became a businessman i know jay-z's done it a lot of other rappers have done it have done those things but you know he went to jail many times he he had a lot of problematic things that was going on but he put it into his music and his music became relatable and that's the biggest thing is that i was not a gangster nor i have ever been a gangster nor will i be never was in the streets never sold drugs but the way he rapped made me feel like not I was doing those things, but like, okay, you're telling me your story. I can get hype off of your story and make myself kind of feel like I'm in your place. And so he's done so much the way he's raised his kids. And I know this necessarily isn't should be considered in the in ranking the best rappers, but those things go into when you talk about longevity, you talk about history, you talk about versatility and flow. The things that you experience in life are what makes people better rappers and i think that's one of the reasons why he's such a great rapper he's definitely has the flow he definitely has the the, the, the rhymes i mean I, you could you can hear five of his songs and you can know even if you don't listen to him as a as, as a whole you can hear five of his songs and know the words to him you know you got asap i remember the first song that i really heard was um like a 24 i think when i was playing midnight club double edition comment down below if you know that game but he's like, i can make that baddie roll like a 24 hey and then top back i like my beat down low down low just the way he switched up his voice he could be chill og gangster or he could really start putting out the verses and start spitting and it was just man his flow was so smooth man and he's always been himself he's never really changed and that's what i like the most about him for the era of 2000 2010 ti s rank follow him up with i'm just gonna get my two favorite rappers out the way just get it out the way now bob now bob is an underground rapper many of you may not know who he is but he's an underground rapper and he was mainstream 2000 2010 at the beginning of his career he came up with uh, airplanes with Haley williams could you put in that airplane in the night sky like shooting stars I could really use a wish right now. I could use a dream. Magic. I've got the magic in me. I kick it like, oh man, all his songs are freaking good. And the, the, that's what I like about B.O.B. is that B.O.B. He could sing. I'm not saying he's the best singer, but he could sing and he could rap. And those are two beautiful things. Play instruments. He loves guitar. Like he's a, he is a artist. He's a, he's a musically talented person. Now, yes. He has some weird ideas, but he puts that into his music and makes it sound so good. Like his album Elements, I think it has like 50 songs on it. And basically he just goes through different scientific theories. He goes through life things that you would experience, things that get you turned up. Like, I just put in work that call me, man. Hey, Mr. Fourth Quarter, Mr. Ooh! Don't even get me started. B.O.B. is my freaking guy. And T.I. discovered B.O.B. So kind of it's kind of fitting that I like both of them. But they're so different, but their flow, and that's the biggest thing. Their flows are so smooth, and they know how to switch it up. They know how to change it up based on the song. Like I said, B.O.B. is more of a, he can sing, and he can rap. He's a rapper, but he can do pop things or R&B type things, and that's what I like. Chandelier, um, a lot of songs, a lot of songs, a lot of songs. So if you haven't listened to B.O.B., 
do he chose to be un, uh, to be underground and so that's the biggest thing is that some people don't know him because of that but he chose to be underground he wanted the people who listen to his music to really appreciate his music and i respect that you know you don't have to be mainstream to be a great rapper be one of the greatest lyricists you don't have to be mainstream it helps to be when you're when you're talking about the history it helps but other rappers will recognize and they know your talent and capability so it'll be that's my number that's my other s rank um let's go for a different a non s rank so let's go with the uh, let's go with the game so i'm gonna put the game b the reason i put the game b is the game can rap no no dish is just like he can rap there's nothing you can say about him that says he can't rap the thing about the game is is that i don't think that he's had that many songs to me that stuck with me like i know a lot of his songs but i don't off the top of my head i can't think of really any i know the words to them but i can't think of the name of the songs and everything like that um it could just because i just chose i listened to him but he just really didn't resonate with me i think that he like i said he can rap but he's not really that versatile he does a lot of gangster rap which is nothing wrong with that but he's kind of one-dimensional in in a, in a way let's go for hmm who else we're gonna put up here akon let's put akon i'm gonna put akon at c rank akon didn't really come up with a whole lot of music but when he was making music it was pretty good you know young jeezy definitely helped elevate his career Th those two together i'm not saying that akon wasn't good by himself and i'm not saying young jeezy's not good by himself but th the two together soul survivor everybody know the game don't stop trying to make it to the top for you get pop now if you're a rider yeah great song great song See, it's not i can't sleep we live in it and then akon he, he stopped doing music you know he once again music everybody doesn't want to do music their entire career but his uh what album was that his convicted album uh that is probably my favorite album so that's why i, I want to put him at b but that one album is so good i listened to that album probably at least 100 times no joke when i was about i think it was eight or nine or ten or something like that i listened to that song so much that whole album so good but that's i can only that's that's the album for me but other than that, outside of that, I don't I don't think that somebody who only has one album is going to be a A, a B or or definitely not an S rank. So I say C could borderline be D. Now I'm going to put a D rank on here. Many of you may hate this. You may not agree with me. This is my personal opinion. I'm not going to always say this is my personal opinion, but if I feel like this is going to be a controversial person, then I'm going to say this is my personal opinion. Common. Common is a D rank to me. I don't like his music. I don't like Common not i don't know the guy so i can't say oh i don't like his personality i don't when i mean i can't say i don't know i don't like him as a person because i don't know him i respect the things that he's done for the rap industry for whatever he does but common is just a, his his rapping and his his personality that i've seen on movies and everything is depicted by his name common he's regular nothing about the way he raps really makes me say i gotta hear this just not me there's nothing else like i can say i just don't like his music at all i've tried i've i've because I've, people a lot of people will put him on their top 10 list of best rappers and i was like let me give it a shot can't do it i just can't do it so common d rank for me i'm just gonna leave it at that who else who else who who else who else who's this i think this is tech nine yeah that's tech nine i've never listened to tech nine that I can know of, so I'm gonna put him at D rank. I've heard people mention Tech Nine, but I, I think I actually recently went to go listen to some of his music, and it just really didn't resonate with me. Um, rapping was okay to me, but there's just other people that are better in my opinion. So I think if I would listen to him more, I might have liked him. But now we're gonna follow up Akon with his partner in crime, Jeezy. I'm gonna put Jeezy at C rank. Jeezy, a lot of great songs, a lot of classic songs. My president is black, my Lambo's blue, and I be gosh darn if my rims ain't too. Hey. Woke up this morning, headache this big, feed all these dang children, feed all these dang kids. Like, woo! Don't know what you're looking for, hope you catch you a great white. It's me, I see great white, heaviest killer. Ooh! His, his, his voice is different. Um, and he, he could flow. He definitely could flow. You knew you were listening to, you knew you were listening to a Young Jeezy song. And that's what I liked about him. Definitely didn't stray off the fact that he was selling drugs and he was in the streets. But he was like, I'm going to make music, and which is what a lot of rappers do. So it's not like he did anything different, but I, I liked his music. You know, I put on is my favorite song of all time by him, um, which that song alone would want, want, would, would want me to put him at B rank. But <laughs> I got to put him at C rank just because compared to everybody else on this list, he's not at that level. If I compared him to T.I.T., T. I would be him 10 out of 10. I could pick one T.I. album that would be better than to me than any song, G G G uh, any song that Jeezy has ever come out with. 
um but i put on is definitely my jump man i put on for my city if you ever played skate 3 that was, i played skate 3 so much that was the one song i played on replay over and over and over just repeat i put on if i'm talking too fast please let me know uh i know i talk really fast especially when i'm passionate about certain things i really enjoy listening to music music is so important to me and so that's why i'm so excited for this but let's keep it rolling let's go with uh jaded kiss uh, i'm gonna put him at d because i don't listen to jaded kiss i never have never it's just i've heard some of the songs i'm gonna look up one jaded kiss song and see and th that's why th this is my list because a lot of these people i don't listen to some some of you may have listened to these people more than i have so you have much, something more to relate it to and so please let me know down in the comment section what song is your favorite Jada Kiss song or any of these artists that I put on that I put them lower than you think they should have been. Let me know where you would have put them and what song, or what reason. So that way I can kind of listen to them, go listen to their music and kind of determine, you know, maybe I did play some wrong. And then what we'll do is if this video gets 200 likes or 100 likes, let me know. I don't want to set a limitation. If this video gets as many likes as possible. So let's say... Let's say 20, 240 likes. So I think I have, no, I have 30 people. So let's say 300 likes. I have 30, I think, rappers on here. So 30, let's get 300 likes. What I'll do is I'll go make a revised list for the viewers. So it'll be a viewers list and I'll revise it based on me listening to whatever song um, or album you want me to listen to. And then if I think that that changed my opinion. Now, this list is best of all time. Oh, best all around. So once again, you take into consideration flow, versatility, and um, I forgot what the other factor I had on here. But flow, versatility are two main things, and then like cadence is very is, is to me cadence and flow kind of go hand in hand, and just impact. That's another thing. Impact. So what impact did they have on the rap industry? Ti helped create trap music, or basically created trap music. Um, so that's kind of where I, what I'm looking at. But yeah, Jada Kiss, I just never listened to him. We'll go ahead and get this guy out the way, Drake. I'm going to put him at S rank. I personally am not a huge fan of Drake. Now, when he first came out, I was like, okay, Drake's cool. I don't think that Drake would have been what he is without Lil Wayne, which is no knock to him because, once again, you can get all the help. You you can get as much help as possible. But if you don't have the capability, you may not be as successful. So he had the capability. He had the fandom already from Degrassi and all that. Um, and he's done so much with his with the opportunity he was given by Lil Wayne. And Lil Wayne did so much with the opportunity he was given by Birdman. So that's how that's how it goes. That's how it should be. You should be uplifting people who are around you. And if you have a platform and the capability and you see somebody else who has the potential, help them. Because, you know, that's just going to make you look even better. And aside from it making you look better, you can look back and say, dang, I did something and helped elevate somebody else's life like somebody did before me. So it's just paying it for So... Drake's music, when he first came out, I loved his music. But now, people always say he's light-skinned, he's so emotional. I'm light-skinned, like, oh, man, you probably like Drake. I don't like his music. Once again, I just don't like the way he raps. He's kind of very the same to me all the time, or he's super emotional. It's like, what are you talking about? What are you rapping about? Are you talking about this? Man, hush. Give me something else. I kind of like, I, I don't know. I just don't like the way he raps. That's just me, that's even personally. But his beginning, song, his beginning like first two albums, three albums, they're pretty good. They're pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and do Outcast. So I'm gonna put Outcast at A. I was gonna separate them and do Andre 2000 and Big Boy, but I felt like it would just be easier to just put both of them up there. Outcast, Andre 3000, amazing, iconic, can't replace. He, man, that man could rap. And it's like he wasn't even rapping, I feel like. I feel like he was doing poetry, which poetry and rap could be considered the same thing, but it was almost like there are some rappers who kind of rap as if they're doing spoken word. Andre Thousand was amazing, man. That man was so good with his flow. I don't even need to talk about him. If you know Andre Thousand, you know Andre Thousand. If you know Big Boy, you know Big Boy. Two iconic rappers. Got up on my A rank. Oh, it's been a, this video is getting kind of long, so let's go ahead and speed this up. Walker Flocka. I'm gonna put Walker Flocka at D rank. Not a bad rapper, not a good rapper. It just gets you hype, and you know you gotta have a hype man every now and then. Lupe Fiasco. I'm gonna put him in here because the man knows how to put lyrics together very 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 lyrically talented it's just he didn't come up with a lot of music that was the biggest downfall for him in my opinion is i listened to a lot of lupe fiasco his latest album was so good but he didn't come up with enough music ludicrous s rank it's ludicrous when i move you move just like that that's all i'm gonna say great 
a lot of music a lot of just versatility as he got older and matured he stated what he started away from rapping but his music will always exist and it will always be very 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 important to the industry and so i gotta put Ludacris at s rank i'm gonna put 50 cent at a b not that i don't like 50 cent but once again 50 cent didn't come up with a lot of music to me i can only think of like five songs that i've really listened to from 50 cent and then sometimes i hate the way he mumbled like Okay, you know I love you like a fat kilo kick. I I mean, I know he had injuries and everything, which kind of led them rapping like that. But not my, not, not my favorite. T Pain's S rank to me. I don't care what you say. T Pain. My last name's Pain. His name is Pain. So already we have a bomb right there. But his music is so diverse. He created auto tune or made it popular, made it mainstream. And man, that man could put together some songs. Great producer, great beat maker. He can rap. He can sing. He can dance. This man right here, very, very, very talented. He's a true artist. We're gonna put Nelly at B rank. It's Nelly. I mean, Nelly and the Lunatics, come on. Come on. It's Nelly. Great. Same thing, didn't come out with a lot of music that maintained itself. Like when he went, when he got with the Lunatics and he was with uh, 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 Murphy Lee and all them, they made a lot of great music, but alone he made, he had, he had hits. But he had hits. I can't say, oh, I listened to this Nelly album. And that's where I'm looking at it as is versatility and just impact. What albums help change the game or help solidify you? So I don't think he has enough albums to me that do that. Oh, Nicki Minaj. I don't listen to Nicki Minaj. I personally don't like the way she raps. I don't like just that 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 grimy female rapper vibe. But the lady changed the game. She also was assisted by Lil Wayne and took advantage of the opportunity like Drake did. And so it's Nicki Minaj. I don't want to speak too much about it because I have, I have listened to a lot of her most recent music. But when she first came out, she was everywhere. She had a lot of great albums. Women love her. She's great. Great. She's done well for herself. And, you know, you can't. She can rap. I mean, she can rap. As simple as that. She can rap. She can flow. Does that impact? Uh, Kanye West. I'm going to put Kanye West A rank. Some people say S rank. I don't. I didn't. I listened to a lot of Kanye West early on, like the graduation album and all that stuff. Coldest Winter was one of my favorite songs by him, but he didn't. He didn't make a lot of music as time went on. Jesus Walk, another great song. He didn't make a lot, a lot of music that I that I know of. He probably did, and I just stopped following him. But he, earlier in his career, I listened to a lot of Kanye West. But as his career started, you know, as years went on, I stopped listening to him because to me, he wasn't coming out with a lot of music. But like when he made when he did the the Taylor Swift thing and then he came out with a song. Let's have a toast for the douchebags. Have a toast for the hoes. Let's have a toast for the scumbags. Every one of them that I know. Yeah, like to take your mess up and make it into a song. That that takes some skill right there. And to be honest, and it'd be a good song too. I like that. So definitely put him there. I'm put Joe in D rank. Don't listen to Joe Budden. I only know one song by him that I like. So Joe Budden, you're there. Jay-Z, Jay-Z is the debatable one for me because I never really listened to a whole, whole lot of Jay-Z. I think that Jay-Z can rap, but his flow and everything just didn't resonate with me. I didn't, I would, I wasn't listening to Jay-Z saying, dang, he is spitting. I wasn't saying that. Some people say that. Some people like the way he raps and like the words, the words he have. I like wordplay a little bit. I like to say, dang, like, oh, that was, oh, did you hear what he said? And Lil Wayne provides that, which, speaking of that, we're going to go ahead and put Lil Wayne right up there. And I would probably do this. Yeah, I would do that. If I had to put these in order, I'd probably go. I'd probably do it like that. No, go here. Do this right here. I look like that. That's probably what I would do. But. Jay Z, he's Jay Z. He's he, when I, part of this is even though I didn't really listen to him, the impact he made for the the rap industry was so big, and you still see it today. He changed the game. He showed he showed a lot of people how to do a lot of things, and so you know, even if you don't listen to some of the people, if you still know about them and they're still talked about, that's impact, and his impact is undeniably one of the largest in the rap industry and so right he belongs where he belongs you know I, i've listened to a lot of his songs a lot of his albums a lot of the albums were some of the best albums out during those years you know the black album the blueprint the blueprint was great but his most i think he did he come out with the album like a couple years ago something like that i can't remember but he jay-z is jay-z 
uh rick ross i'm gonna put him c i don't like his music i don't really care for it. he has a lot of great songs that i like but as far as albums i don't like his flow i don't like his cadence uh, that's just me that's just me some people love him and will die by him i'm not one of those people he's rick ross and he like i said great songs but as far as impact to me and oh man this rick ross when he was on this album he went in i don't say those things about him i can't i can't name an album that would say that about him Snoop Dogg. I'm gonna put Snoop Dogg at an A. Very iconic, but I think it was more so the way he rapped what people liked about him. He did have a lot of lines and stuff that was like, dang, rolling down the street, smoking, sipping on gin and juice, laid back. I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a man. Great song, but once again, I didn't grow up where it, in that era with every biggie and all that stuff and i don't know if Snoop Dogg even falls into the 2008 i mean 2000 2010 but i looked it up and it said that was most of, that was when most of the albums came out so i put them on the list um but if i'm wrong let me know but snoop dogg is snoop dogg i mean snoop dogg but i wouldn't go through and say i want to listen to snoop dogg today i wouldn't do that um nas i never listened to nas at all so i'm gonna put him at c just because i know he has a large impact and people love them some nas but and his impact is seen, but I personally don't like the way he raps. I think he raps too slow. But no knock to Nas. No knock to Nas at all. Eminem. Ah, to me, I'm going to be honest. This is just me, honestly. To me, without Dr. Dre, I'm going to put Eminem. I don't know. Eminem is almost an S rank to me. I'll put him at B, though. I listened to a lot of Eminem when he first came out, when he was with uh, the, the the like superhero phase. Um, he just he can rap, but I feel like because he was doing he was a white guy rapping, he got so much more attention. But if you compare him to other rappers, he wasn't on their level. He just was not. You couldn't say, "Oh man!" Like there's not one in one in any era that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to get too deep about this because it's just a list. It's just an opinion. But I liked Eminem. Let's clarify. I like Eminem. But like to put it in perspective, I think MGK Machine Gun Kelly is a better rapper than Eminem because his wordplay is amazing. His lyrics are, are amazing. His 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 artistry. He knows how to play so many different instruments. He knows how to rap about where he's from, but do it in a way that's like, dang, you can visualize where he's from. But you can visualize Cleveland, Ohio growing up how he grew up and putting in perspective and then he talks about his team and you see his team grow with him like his impact for his city so ridiculous man and it's like when you try to compare the two they, they both are individually great on their own but i feel like mgk did it like yeah he had the co-sign of, P of puff daddy but he did it on his own whereas eminem had dr dre and i feel like if he didn't have dr dre he may not have he may not be as successful now eight mile one of my favorite movies of all time don't get me wrong and in that oh my gosh he was spitting but that didn't translate to his all his albums and that's the thing like i can't name an album from him that i would say dang i know songs that were amazing and that will always if i hear that song i'm getting turned up like freaking you better lose yourself in the music the moment you want it you better never let it go you only get one shot do not miss great song great my psychology teacher played that play and my ap psychology teacher played that in high school to get us hyped up for the ap exam so that just shows how impactful he was but he's not lyrically up there with a lot of other people above him for sure and i don't know yeah, yeah i don't know he's probably better than maybe 50 cents on other person who might be a little bit up there so i'll do this for you all you eminem fans i'll do that um who we have next gucci man i'm not really a gucci man fan like some songs by gucci man but i tell me Lee and pamela i'm getting on a gucci is no amateur double to damage you can damage you mm -hmm. two girls on the back one on the front one on the hand about ferrari f-130 call it call it toronto yeah when i hit the mall yo yo it's a photo shoot it's a photo shoot yeah, it's a photo shoot great song to me he's not up there lyrically he's just not there cameron i never listened to a lot of cameron at all so but i think that as far as impact i think he did a lot for the rap industry 
But I, to be fair to all the other people in the D rank, I'm gonna have to put him here because I never really listened to Tech Nine or Jada Kiss. So I think Cameron and Jada Kiss were kind of around the same era with each other as far as when they were putting out music when they were at the peak of their career. So I'm gonna put him here. Like I said, this can all change. I might do a revised list. I'll go back and listen to some of these people that I've never listened to and then maybe re decide where I should put them. Q tip, once again, I never listened to Q tip, so I'm just gonna default put him there. Jaw Rule, I'm gonna put Jaw Rule. Uh, Rule, baby, Mary J. Blood is just. Ja Rule had a lot of features, man. He had Ashanti and then he had freaking. Um, uh, I want to say Missy Elliott was with him a lot. What am I wrong? Mary J. Blige. Wow. So, I don't know. Ja Rule is probably going to be there. I don't know. I'll, I'll leave him there for now. There's a lot of songs I like by Ja Rule, but I was associated with Ashanti, and that just speaks about his individual capability. I'm not saying he wasn't great individually, but I only associate the, his best songs that I listen to with either her, Missy Elliott, I mean, not Missy Elliott, but uh, Mary J. Blige or other people. I don't really know any individual songs that he's made that I like, so... Missy Elliott, you gotta put her A just because of what she's done. I don't think that she's an amazing rapper, but I think that... No, I'm gonna put her B. I'm gonna put her B. I'm gonna put her B for sure. Because I don't think she's at Snoop Dogg's level. I don't think she's at um, Kanye West's level, and she's not at Outkast's level, but she had a huge impact. To be a female rapper, to be dancing, and she she's not a great dancer, but to dance, to uplift the dancers that she did bring on like the i forgot the girl's name but she had her as a kid dancing and then she elevated her career and became it was in a lot of dancing movies she's done a lot for the industry just for female rappers as a whole but more importantly she's always been true to herself and always kept that same image like yeah i'm missy I, i'm fly i'm fashionable i'm a little thick but i can do what i gotta do man <laughs> miss elliot you're a real one and then her and sierra when they got together oh my goodness so she could be she could be an a rank she could be an a rank now I think about it. I think get to know you so I can show you. If you're at the stank, then call me over. You my hips, my hips, don't ya? That's a few pounds and a waist, don't ya? I don't know. Hold on. I go blah blah blah. Work it. I need a glass of water. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. And if it's worth it, let me work. Okay. I put my thing down, flipping in my verse. I ain't strong for my nigga blanket. Okay. You know what? She gotta be A rank. Just because of what she did for the position that she was in, she has to be A rank. Cause she has so many vibing songs you can dance to. I'm gonna put her A rank. So that completes the list. Try to hurt. I didn't want the video to be too long, but I just started getting too in depth about the people that I like, and I just got excited. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. Comment down below if you agree with the list. If who you would change, who you think should be up higher, what position you think they should be in, and then why. Maybe give me a song, maybe give me an album or something like that to listen to. And then, you know, we can make another list. But remember, 2000, 2010. And it's going based off of either when they came out as rappers or when they were making the most music. So those are two things I take into consideration because it's hard to say, oh, this person came out of the 90s, but they didn't put out any music in the 90s. Well, then they're not, they're not going to be to me they're not going to be discussed with 90s rappers if they didn't put out any music like yeah they put out one song in the 90s okay but they had five albums in 2000 and 2010 that's when their discussion about how great they are would have taken place because that's when people would have listened to them so that's what i'm going based off of um i know i didn't cover everybody i'm missing j cole if j cole's on here i'll probably put j cole at a at a at a, a, a b I love J. Cole's flow. It's just he's not consistently great. He's not as versatile as I would like him to be. I think that he could be. Um, but he's a great rapper. Oh, freaking amazing rapper. Great lyricist when he wants to be. And that's the thing. Like his versatility and flow doesn't change up that much. And that's kind of what agitates me about him is that great, 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 great capability. But that's again, that's his, that's his style. That's what he does. So he's not here to impress me. He's here to make the music he wants to make. And so I respect that. But I would have probably put J. Cole at an A or B. Um, Machine Gun Kelly would have definitely been an A or b andy minio these are other just honorable mentions so andy minio if you ever listened to him it's a great artist i probably play him at a because i love his flow russ might be at a i go for flow cadence i go for like your versatility can you switch up on the same song can you switch up and do different levels and oct it's just it's just how versatile can you be without being too versatile and trying to change it up too much and still be good man because good music is good music and everybody has their own opinion of what good music is so that's where i am it's your boy two times the pain you already know what i'm doing i'm busting to your local mainframe causing a problem because you can't sustain the pain that i'm bringing each and every day please make sure you like comment subscribe to the channel peace
Woo!